What's up guys, it's King Daddy DMac, and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. It's Valentine's Day today, that's right, that is right, and I had a question for you. Does this ever happen to you on Valentine's Day? Oh hi, will you be my Valentine? Maybe? Oh. Oh, hi. Will you be my Valentine? <sighs> Why? Oh, it's Tinfoil Chef. He'll be my Valentine, won't you? Ah! Will you be my Valentine? Hey! Dang it! Will you be my valentine? I guess not. You could have just said so. How about you? Will you be my valentine? Oh. Will you be my valentine? You? Maybe? Oh. Oh, are you coming to be my Valentine? No? What are you doing? No! No! Okay, I get the point. You don't want to be my Valentine. You could have just said so. Oh. Will you be my Valentine? Oh, do you want to be my valentine? <laughs> Will you be my valentine? <laughs> why, God? Why does nobody want to be my valentine? I know guys, Valentine's Day can be a pretty rough holiday sometimes. It seems like no matter who you ask, nobody wants to be your Valentine. But don't worry, because I'm here to help you out. I'm going to bring you to a better, brighter place. That's right guys, I will be your Valentine. And look at how light out it gets. The rain, the sad, dark times go away. And I even got a little Valentine's Day gift for you all. I thought I'd do for you today. Let's go. Let's go head out. And it's important to know Valentine's Day is not about how much money you spend. It's about the thought, the kindness, the heart of it all. So, what better than to build you guys a little Valentine's Day gift. That's right.
All right, all right, let's see how it looks. I did a few little finishing final touches on her. And let's see. Aw, ain't that pretty. Ain't that pretty. My first pixel art on the server. Well, guys, happy Valentine's Day from me to you. <laughs> And that's, I think that's going to do it for today's mushy stuff in the episode. Let's get to work. Let's see what I've been up to. All right, all right. So what have I been up to since the last episode? Moved around all my chests and all of our Easy Bake Ovens and just been going crazy, crazy cooking up all that glass. And this is so that we can finish this whole little base project before, a few episodes ago, we uh we dug this out and had the whole underwater thing going. And this part will end up being, it's going to be kind of like a big donut. Kind of like a big donut. And it's going to be, I'm trying to sort of mimic what I did in single player. Kind of as a tribute to it. I thought that that would be very neat. So, getting this all lined up with the glass. I'm about, I'd say about halfway done. Just because it's not fully solid on this side yet. So about halfway done, and then comes the real fun part. We're going to take out all that water. So that could take me a few weeks. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me do all this glass. We'll do a lot of it off camera, but that's kind of been why it's been a little bit slower for me to get episodes out in the past week. Between that, the Pixelmon, and the new Feed the Beast reset, Monster Baby. But yeah, there's a couple other things that I'd like to probably do in future videos. We need to get a whole thing going so that we can get more white dye. Because I am getting a little low on bones. We do have the one skelly farm. But I found something pretty nifty and pretty close. Let's just go run downstairs and take a look. Alright, so we're downstairs in the basement where the end portal is. Now let's see some of the stuff that I came across. Let's see, let's go through the stronghold door. Let's see if I can remember how to get there. I'm gonna go up to the top. And then I think it was over Dishway. Should be more stairs, okay, okay. We're getting there. Oh, dun 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 dun, one spawner. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And then I think we have a library up here. I should actually torch this up. Don't want no mob spawning. And then check this out. Oh baby. Another spawner. And it's a skelly one. Nice. Waiting to get that loot just with you guys. Actually, I think there's like a, some horse arm. Nope, I didn't take it. Horse armor, saddle, sweet, sweet, sweet. So we got a skelly thing too. And they're both just right around our area. Let's see actually where this comes out. It's trying to see matched up with our base. Come on. Are we that, I don't think we're that far out. Yeah, so it's just outside. So it's actually pretty perfect. Everything in there will be rendered. We can set up maybe some type of AFK farm there so that all of our different things will still be going on. And then there's one more spawner. Didn't find any dual ones yet. I was really hoping for that. Let's see, let's see. Mm, there's somewhere around here. Maybe it was closer. Oh, there it is. I way overshot it. I think that's it. Right in here. Almost. Yes. And a spider one, too. So that's pretty sweet. And that actually will probably be inside of our base. So that's pretty perfect. All of them right by the stronghold. So very sweet. Very sweet indeed. Let's try and find our way home now. Yeah, that's, that's really close. So we got all three types of mob spawners right in here. So, we'll probably try and get working on one of those soon, but I'm going to be spending most of my time just glassing up and slowly working that out so we can actually get more space to build. So, I think that's going to about do it, unless you want to watch me place down glass. Guys, thanks for watching. 
Have a wonderful Valentine's Day. I wish you well. And yes, I am your Valentine. You can tell him that. <laughs> I don't know. Tell somebody that. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave that thumbs up. It helps me out oh so much. I love it. Leave a comment. Tell me what you're doing today. And yeah, as always, peace out.